This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we bring you the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld, and we've been selling homes here in Southern Nevada since 1988. And we also have Carrie Phillips from RateWise Mortgage. Uh, her license number is 309-701. And I wanted to talk today about um, the various elements that go into a rate. If you do a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, your rate is higher than if you were to do a 15-year mortgage or a 10-year mortgage. The lower the term, the uh, the bank actually rewards you because they're going to get their money back sooner to lend out to more people. Mm, okay. So um, it's usually about a half a percent difference in rate. The type of property. So if you're buying a single family residence versus a condo, the single family residence is going to have a better rate than a condo. A bank considers a condo more risk because there are other units that are attached to that project that could impact the collateral. Loan to value. What that means is how much you put down. You're going to get a better rate the more you put down. Um, somebody that puts a, a, a 5% down versus a 20% down is going to have a worse rate by about an eighth to a quarter percent. Your debt to income ratio. This is, uh, this is something that could impact your interest rate. If you have more debt then you know when we p do the division of your income and it's it's above 50 percent you're going to potentially have a worse rate than somebody that has um, a debt to income ratio that's 41 percent or 38 percent so you're going to have a higher rate if you are purchasing an investment home versus if you were going to live in it or purchase it as a vacation home you're going to let your the home go first if it's an investment versus your primary because you're not living in it and it's not impacting your family and um, so that's the one you're going to let go first and therefore there's about a half a percent um, difference in rate if you do a conventional mortgage versus a VA versus an FHA. That's going to make a difference. So let's pull in FICO scores with this uh, topic. If, you, if your FICO score is higher on a conventional mortgage, you're going to get a, a, a great rate. Mm -hmm. If your FICO score is below 700, you're going to get a better rate uh, FHA and VA are more forgiving in rate. You actually, your your rate isn't really impacted that much mm. if you have a FICO score that is lower on FHA and VA. Loan officers that make a commission of two, three percent, one and a half percent, that's the going commission out there for, <clears throat> for, for loan officers. Mm -hmm. That commission is added it is is made through increasing a consumer's rate. Consumers don't understand that that's why their rate may be as higher with one mortgage loan officer than another loan officer, because mm -hmm. maybe if another loan officer makes a little bit less because they want to do more volume, then their rate is lower. Well, we at RateWise Mortgage say, you know what, let's do something cool and pay our loan officers a thousand dollar flat fee no matter if it's a million dollar file or a fifty thousand dollar file we are paying our loan officers a thousand dollars a file if we keep our, our commission down for our, our loan officer who's going to make it in volume it will improve the client's um uh, rate it does it's factual it does and we can compete with online companies we can compete with anybody we don't have to lose a deal to somebody that has maybe you know great rates online but maybe they don't have the service that everybody's um, wants to have because sometimes you feel like a number if you're with a, a you know an online company that has a lot of volume You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now with host Harvey Blankfeld. Please tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on News Talk 720 KDWN.